In this video for Candida Hub, we'll be talking about uh, yeast infections versus bacterial vaginosis. Two are both very common types of vaginal infections that uh, many women get. Generally, a yeast infection will have a white creamy lesion on the inside of the vaginal canal or perhaps cottage cheese-like discharge and won't have much of a smell to it at all. On the other hand, uh, bacterial vaginosis, or BV, uh, will often have a fishy smell that uh, indicates very strongly that the infection is bacterial vaginosis. So right off the bat, uh, you may be able to uh, differentiate between the infections that are out there and figure out which one you have. So in general, uh, the question is, how often does a yeast infection or BV affect women? What are your odds of contracting one of these infections? Well, there was an interesting study done. The study was published in 2001 in Infectious Diseases in Obstetrics and Gynecology. And in that study, they looked at 501 different women who all complained of a vaginal infection of some kind. The women all had uh, either vaginal discharge or itching of some kind in the vaginal area and uh, an infection was suspected for these women. Of the women who participated in the study, 73% of them were found to be positive for uh, candida, the yeast that causes yeast infections. Of the 73% group of women who did have a yeast infection, over 80% of those women had Candida albicans, the most pathogenic uh, yeast in the Candida genus. So it wouldn't be uncommon if you also were suffering from uh, Candida albicans infection as well. 26% of the women who were positive for Candida had taken oral contraceptives. And another factor was antibiotic use. So if you've done either of those two things and now you have a vaginal infection, it could be a yeast infection. When it comes to vaginal infections, there are three big ones that most women tend to struggle with. Yeast infections, BV, and trichomoniasis, which is an STD caused by a tiny little protozoa. Yet these three infections can be kind of difficult to diagnose. There was a study published in 2001 in Health S.A. Gessenheide, and the study used 70 different pregnant women who all were complaining of a vaginal infection of some kind. Uh, these women were taken to a clinic and using previous medical history and pictures of vaginal infections, the clinic staff uh, tried to determine, uh, based off that information alone, what type of infection these women in fact had. The clinic guessed about 44% of the women had a yeast infection. In actuality, it was more like 68%. The clinic guessed that 56% of these women had trichomoniasis. In actuality, it was more like 33%. The clinic didn't think any of the women had BV, yet 25% of the women had bacterial vaginosis. So, if a professional clinic staff using medical history and pictures uh, failed in a lot of cases to correctly identify what type of infection uh, specific women have, you may also find yourself misdiagnosing yourself. There's a really excellent way to determine how likely you are to have a yeast infection. Candida Hub has two tests. One is a long comprehensive test. The other is a short, quick test, and you can use these tests for free to see how likely it is that yeast is actually responsible for your health problems or your vaginal infection. The tests were based off the late pioneer Dr. William Crook, which you may have heard about. He's published many books, and you can access these tests right now on Candida Hub. So if you're thinking about diagnosing yourself, here are some common symptoms of BV. The most telltale sign will be uh, 
a fishy vaginal odor. You may also have a thin grayish or white liquid vaginal discharge. You may also experience vaginal itching or burning during urination. Those are the symptoms that point towards bacterial vaginosis. If you have a yeast infection, one thing to look for are creamy white lesions in the vaginal canal or a cottage cheese-like vaginal discharge. If you see either of those, you can likely assume, yes, you do have a yeast infection. Some other symptoms that uh, typically accompany a yeast infection include a thin, watery vaginal discharge, a vaginal rash, pain and general soreness in the vaginal area, itching or burning during urination, or sex. So as you can see, there is some overlap between a yeast infection and a bacterial vaginosis infection in terms of what symptoms they cause in your body. If you'd like to get more information about yeast infections or bacterial vaginosis and figuring out which one is causing your problems, uh, feel free to check out the article on Candida Hub. If you're already there, just keep reading. Uh, the link is below in the description. Thanks.